Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week number six, I believe, of the APA Academy. And we are up against Diet Tight and his New Britain Rock Ruff. We've been we played each other uh, quite a few times as of recently, but uh we have obviously very different matchups, very different teams. Um we've had a bit of a back and forth, but uh yeah, we've just been in a lot of different uh leagues together. But here we see the Diancy, Mega Diancy, uh Rayquaza, Darkrai. Uh, Slowbro, Skarmory, and the Cryogonal. Okay, okay. Right off the bat, no Needle King, no Superior, no Kinkelder. No Kinkelder is actually really huge. No Electros is also really, really huge, actually. Um, so I'm curious as to what I would want to lead off with. I could definitely see him leading off with a very, with a pretty standard, um, Skarmory lead. But other than that. I kind of honestly want to lead off with Salazzle here. I kind of honestly want to lead off with Salazzle here. And I think I might. I just think I might. Okay. Okay. You know what? We're going to go for it. Um, I think... I think his best lead options might be... Skarmory, Diancy, maybe Slowbro actually. I could see that as well. Rayquaza just to put on a lot of pressure. He knows he probably knows that I like to lead off with my Zygarde. But we're gonna test this out. Um, I have a very interesting Salazzle set. I really wanted to bring Z-Move Salazzle, but I ended up bringing Z-Move Vicavolt with agility. Uh once again, in consecutive weeks. Right? Um But I do think that Vicavolt had a decent matchup against his team, and the team that he brought, I think I match up against pretty darn well. Does lead off with that Ancy as I do lead off with Salazzle. So, not ideal. Definitely not ideal, but if I stay in like a gosh dang man and think that he's going to go for a rocks lead, does a nasty plot help me in this situation? No, Sludge Wave is just not doing enough. Oh, but at plus two... But that's assuming absolute no bulk Diancy, which I don't know, is super duper dubious. That is definitely, definitely dubious. I think. Hmm. I think I might have to go out into. See, I honestly do want to go into my Zygarde, but I think he's the type of guy that would read that and go for a Moonblast right away. Um, Moonblast does a lot to m almost everything on my team, except the Salazzle, and he would be hard reading me to switch out, which I think he might, I think he might honestly go for Moonblast, assuming that I would want to switch out. I could definitely see either Moonblast or Power Gem or Stealth Rocks turn one. I think, you know what, I think, man, it might honestly be worth it. I'm going to click Nasty Plot. I'm going to see what we can do. He does stay in. Doesn't Mega Evolve. I think that was just a mistake on his part. Uh, I'm pretty positive that that was just a mistake. Goes for the Earth Power. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> That's going to be pretty much as bad of a turn one as uh, as uh, we one could have here. But uh, still didn't Mega Evolve, which is fine. Earth Power is a little bit unexpected. But. What would this allow me to do here? I think honestly... Huh. I'm not sure what that would mean for me, really. I'm not really sure what that would mean for me. I don't have great options against the Skarmory anymore. I think I could just go into... My Mammoth Swan and just kind of go in a little bit. He could absolutely just go into Skarmory, which would be fine, I think. Part of me just wants to go straight up for a... for an Icicle Crash, expecting it to want to come in. Or I could double. I, I think doubling would be infinitely better in this situation. But what would I double into? Probably just the Vicavolt. Probably just the Vicavolt. But it feels too early for Vicavolt to really do what I needed to do. I 
Uh, hmm. I could also potentially double into the Zygarde. Zygarde uh, would open the door quite a bit, but then he has the easy slow bro play as well. I'm going to click Icicle Crash here. Does make evolve, so staying in once again. I mean, on, like, uh, honestly, I, I, I can absolutely see the fact that I am uh, over-predicting here, but I really... Huh. Goes for the Protect. That's interesting. So I could... Okay, you know what? I could definitely see him being something like Protect Encore or something to that effect. Does this thing get on Or some, something like that. I don't know. I think I just click Earthquake here. I don't know. He probably has Magnet Rise. Would he have Magnet Rise? He probably would. Magnet Rise makes a ton of sense to me as well. He's probably just trying to scout me out a little bit. Um, he has three mods off the ground, so he has some obvious Earthquake predicts, but... Uh, yeah, okay. I think... I think I can just reasonably go into... Vicavolt here. At the very least, scare this thing out. At the very least, just scare this thing out. Vicavolt feels like it can potentially beat his team outright. Goes for spikes, so probably spikes and rocks, so it would really limit his options here, I think. I think it would limit his options quite a bit here. I'd be curious as to whether he would try to stack me here, but no, just... Huh. Goes into Cryogonal. Goes into Cryogonal here. And... Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind gauging damage with just a straight up Thunderbolt here. I, I can go for it. I mean, I've been over predicting so much this entire game that I kind of do just want to gauge some damage here. Goes for a Toxic. Okay, that is genuinely pretty bad, actually. That is genuinely pretty bad. So it looks to be close to no bulk Cryogonal here. And he's probably going to... I have to Z-move to take this thing out, but is it even worth it? Because I would want to spend Z-move on something like the Diancy just to make sure that I can KO. So yeah, I think I can give up a turn of, a turn of toxic damage in exchange for ensuring the KO on something like a Diancy. So I can Thunderbolt again. Um, he might have the recover. If he does have the recover, then I'm kind of, yeah, okay. So I'm definitely forced to, to burn Z on, on this right here. But... I don't know, I guess I'm not the most concerned. It's going to allow him to go into Diancy and kind of mess with me a little bit. But at the same time... At the same time, hmm, I don't know. I'm kind of in this now a little bit, so I kind of have to figure out how I want to play this, but the Ancy is an easy bring in to just kind of um, deal with me. If I do get taken out by the Ancy, he at least has to give me a lot of damage onto the Ancy with a straight up Thunderbolt here, um, which is not great, but it will allow me to... Man, I was, I was trying to mess around with uh, trying to uh, put Metronome on a few mons, and this would have been a great moment for Metronome Thunderbolt. This would have been a great moment for Metronome Thunderbolt. But, Kragonal was always going to be an issue, so I guess I don't mind it too much, especially against things like a, like a Palkia. So, he's never going to be able to, he's never going to be able to uh, take a hit with, with, from Palkia and be able to hit me back with a freeze dry. But, he's going to give up. A goes for protect. Okay, okay. I suppose that's fair. But uh, 
Uh, it feels like... Something is going... Yeah, something is going to get really, really hurt this turn. Yeah, okay. Goes for Stealth Rock. So now... Huh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So now I'm going to go down... Now I'm just going to straight up go down. But you know what? This also really opens up the door for my Togekiss as well. This really opens up the door for Togekiss as well. So I think I can let this thing go down. And honestly, yeah, no, this opens up the door a lot more for something like Palkia as well to kind of spam Spatial Rend in the later game. Um, although I'm going to have to try to figure out what I want to bring in here on this turn. I could probably just bring in... I could probably just bring in Zygarde. Right? Because, okay, so here's the thing, right? Zygarde doesn't really outright win this matchup. But what Zygarde can do is bait in... Is either take this thing out, get it, get a, get a KO here. And or bait in the Slowbro. Ha have it eat a crunch and then... Um, allow me to bring something else in to kind of deal the damage that I need to here. That makes sense to me overall. But... It's going to be a matter of trying to make this happen a little bit. Man, Salazzo Sal would have been great. I don't... I don't know. It probably would have been better for me if I packed a hidden power... If, random hidden power steel somewhere on my overall team, but what can I say? I didn't. I just didn't. So let's withdraw. So Slowbro is probably going to come in and uh, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Slowbro ooh, Slowbro taking a quarter seems like a decent amount here. Um... It might actually be just kind of specially defensive. But I do want to figure out if that's true. Oh no, that's definitely defensive. Yeah, okay, that's definitely pretty much max defense. But now a crunch is going to do a whole heck of a lot. And... Yeah, okay. Goes for a future site. Okay, okay. I can dig it. I can dig it for sure. But now where does that leave me? Because I don't think he would let me just crunch again. Actually, it doesn't matter. That Thousand Arrows can always be somewhat of a play because... I mean, unless this thing just goes for slack off, but he's always going to be risking... Um... A defense drop through crunch or something to that effect. But his only switch into that would want to be the Skarmory. Which... Huh. I think I have to just keep clicking Crunch. If I can cop a defense drop, I mean, that would be pretty much ideal here. Because if I'm in a position where I'm forcing it to, cl to click Slack off, then... Uh, I'm going to be able to eat the future side attack, and if anything, it's probably better for me that I do just um, waste the future side attack on on uh, Zygarde over anything else. Because, I mean, again, just a defense drop here would be uh, pretty much... There it is, okay. Let's run another slack off, and I think this is going to be the future side turn, but I think I'm... I think I should be okay. Especially if this thing is max is max physical defense. Um, but now he's going to be able to just click Scald and KO me. But he's also going to have to take a minus one hit. Which should then... Which should then allow me to maneuver around a little bit. Although it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. Actually. 
But that's for sure something that I needed. Um, yeah, now he's probably thinking about going into the Skarmory, which he does just go out, straight out into Skarmory. Uh, which is okay, I guess. I don't know. Well, no, it's definitely not okay. I should, I, uh, that's a, that's an immediate retract. But, uh, yeah, I don't know why he wouldn't just stay in his cult. I mean, I guess he'd be low, but he can get most of it back with Regenerator, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh... I can wear this thing down a little bit. And goes for Roost, okay. I mean, I really felt like I had no reason to want to switch out. Did he think that I was a uh, choice or something? I don't know if you... Mm. Oh, I guess I just allows him to, to read. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So now, now, I get to see if, man, if I could get another defense drop, then that'd be an interesting time for, there it is, okay. That'd be an interesting time if I could potentially bring in, oh, I think his only attacking move is Future Sight, yeah, okay, so. Future Sight, Slack Off, I don't know what his other moves would be. Thunderbolt, maybe? Maybe that's why he's not going for it. Maybe he has Thunderbolt as well. I'm not too, too sure. I think he's not going to want to stay in, though. I think I can... Let me see. Yeah, it goes back into this thing. So, I was able to call that, but then you can always switch, just switch back. Which means I can potentially click Crunch here. He might be kind of daring me to make that play, but... I don't think it's a play that I mind making here. And now I'm going to go down to the future site, I believe. But, can we see another defense drop? It is 20%, so... I don't think it's too, you know, big of a stretch. But, there's the future side attack. And, now in a position... Now in a position... Huh. I don't really know what I'm in a, posi what I'm in a position for. But, what I really should have done probably is just click Trick there. I think Trick would have been the best case scenario to trick my Scarf on and potentially try to win with Palky in the late game. But, I don't know. Does let me get an Air Slash off, so I think just me kind of daring him to make those plays earlier kind of puts, in a, puts him in a position where he has to uh, make some reads now. But this Slowbro, I don't think I can ever beat this Slowbro, really. I don't think I can ever really beat this Slowbro. The combination of Slowbro and Skarmory is really going to uh, hurt me here. It's really going to hurt me here. I think the best thing that I can do... I think the best thing that I can do is kind of just switch into... Um this thing and potentially just lock myself into into Thunderbolt but it's going to be dubious so the thing is right if I can take one of them out then it opens me up to lock into something just lock into one of my stabs um, in the end game, but one of them has to go down for me to be able to potentially win with this thing on its own. And ideally, you know, just spamming Thunderbolt is my way to get there in the end. 
That's okay. That's just a KO. So now leader in the match. Now leader in the match. Well, he knows. Now he knows that I'm max attack modders pretty much. But now leader on the match, I can. I can lock into spec spatial rend. So it's a lot better that I took this thing out than the slow bro, probably. Comes into dark right here, but I don't mind. Oh, you know what? By me trying to bring this thing in, by me bringing in the Togekiss, it might actually, it might actually condition him to think that my Togekiss is the scarfed one when they're both scarfed. Actually, um, it would force me to eat up any Rayquaza Extreme Speed potentially. But I think at this point, I'm already in too deep. I need to, you know, figure something out. And that did a lot of damage, even for being resisted. I guess I'll, I don't know. I guess it's not a whole heck of a lot, but... Uh, it actually also lets me lock in a Dazzling Gleam, which is super interesting as well. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to lock in a Dazzling Gleam now. Scarf Dazzling Gleam feels good here. It might not pick up every KO that I need to pick up, but I think it'll weaken his team enough where... Um, I could do something. Let me see, does it even pick up a KO on Darkrai? Does it even pick up a KO on Darkrai? It potentially does. Uh, minimal bulk Darkrai. And what about Rayquaza? What about Rayquaza? Uh, Dazzling Gleam does a whole heck of a lot in this situation. Okay, does go into this thing. Do I have another switch in left in me? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Um. Yeah, every time I come in, I take uh, 40 points of HP. And... I am... Below that. So here's the thing, right? Oh no, I still can't lock in a spatial rend because of the dang uh because of the dang Diancy. But I can oh, yeah, maybe that just means that I lose because I can't lock in a spatial rend. Hmm. I mean, if he keeps clicking slack off, then he, I feel like he's kind of asking for a crit a little bit, but... Uh, realistically, I guess... I don't know, even if I was... Even if I just kept clicking... Um... Air Slash, he'd be asking for a... Flinch as well, so... I don't know. I think all I have to do is keep this thing relatively weak and I can start to get make some things happen let me see so yeah this is gonna be tough this is gonna be real tough I would 100% switch out just to try to flinch him down later on in the match but Yeah, it's just going to be tough. And as strong as Palkia is, I guess locking into Thunderbolt is my best answer, right? Because... I don't know, it depends on how much damage... Yeah, Rayquaza is always going to beat me. Rayquaza is always going to be, unless, unless, well, no, if it's down to just Rayquaza, if it's down to just Rayquaza, then I can potentially, huh. Oh, yeah, again, Future Sight is his only move, yeah, okay, okay, okay. But I can't switch out, I can't switch out. I guess I could. What could I switch out into? I could go into Mammoth Swine. I 
I mean, I could also just get a crit here. I probably should have been... Yeah, no. I should have realized earlier on that how... How much... How much he was... Struggling to kind of hit me. He doesn't have Scald or He probably doesn't have Scald or anything like that. So... So here's what I'm thinking, right? If I go out in a Palkia... No, I, if I go out into MS1, I can get a Brox. Then I can... I can get a Brox. Then I can... Take the Future Side attack. Go into Palkia. Lock into Thunderbolt. If he ever gives up his Diancie, then I can go into Togekiss, let, let it go down to rocks, and then switch back in, and then lock into Spatial Rend. And... Maybe win? But either the Rayquaza or the Diancie has to go down in order for me to win with either Thunderbolt or Spatial Rend. But that might just be what I think I should do. I can try it. I mean, we could always try it. Although, this could also be shooting myself in the foot because the better play might have been to keep this thing for Ice Shard, but I, don't, but I think he's smart enough to never really allow me to be able to, um, allow me to be able to Ice Shard the Rayquaza, unless it's like really just aggressively uh, the last thing that he can do. But, I just don't know. I just don't know. Maybe he thinks we're starting to talk to him, I don't know. Uh, I was just thinking, man, it would be super aggressive if he switched in the Mega Diancie on this turn. But, goes for another Future Sight, that's totally fair. Totally, totally fair. Will the bottom screen show me Future Sight? It does, it shows me it's two turns away. It shows me it's two turns away. So. Oh, he does have him. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was reasonably confused then. That's a crit, which I guess is fine. I don't know. But now I have to take a couple of hits, it looks like. Yeah, this Palkia might, might just barely miss out on being able to win. Um, because I don't think I'll ever be, you know, take all this damage and be able to take, uh, a, an extreme speed in the end game, which is what, I, yeah. And it doesn't matter anyway, because now I can't switch back in on rocks, so, uh, this is going to be the game, but... I guess what I should have done. I guess what I should have done is on the future sight turn. No, no, I never had now. I never had now. He played it perfectly. Because now I'm going to get extreme speeded, and uh, that's going to be the match. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I played way too aggressively. Definitely, definitely the Salazzle was a really bad play, but, uh, that and, yeah, just the few, just the first two turns were just awful for me, and I think that really set me up for failure, but, uh, I really thought that Dai would be the type of dude that would play this, uh, out super aggressively, and he just didn't play it as aggressively as I thought he would, uh, and I'm for sure gonna go down to rocks, but, uh, I really just kind of expected him to play this out differently. So, yeah, that's that's going to be it for me. Uh, we will end up 0-6, but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the AP Academy, as well as uh, some other things in the near future. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.